Good morning, I'm Chris Sibbles, principal of Edwards Middle School. I want to thank you for joining me today to see our best kept secret. Today you're going to see a STEM class where children are challenged and engaged. STEM is the bridge where science, technology, engineering, and mathematics meet. Where once important concepts were taught in isolation, they're now taught as an integrated subject. STEM is taking that science, that math, that technology, all that you've gotten, and integrating it into a real life activity, a real life experience. It might be building something in engineering, it might be um, taking it and apply it to a problem if you're talking about, uh, for example, conservation and saving a certain species of, the, of animal, but taking that and figuring out how to use it for the, for, for the rest of the world and as an adult. Because we want to get the kids ready as children now to what they need to be, the skills they need to have as adults. And we also want to expose them through co to career paths mm -hmm. that are also science, math, technology, and engineer related. So they see that they can take their, their, their inside classroom world and apply it to their future. The goal for any STEM class, in my opinion, is to make the teacher more of a facilitator. Students should be taking in problems that, real, real world problems, and implementing what they've learned in class to try to solve them. And the, uh, the other goal would be get, to get the students to be 21st century learners, to get them to critically think about real world problems and take what they're learning in the classroom and apply it to the outside world in their own community and their own lives. What I like about STEM is that we do hands-on projects and um, it's interesting. And when we do STEM, I, I'm a hands-on learner, so I learn hands-on. So when we do hands-on experiments and activities, it helps me grasp the concept quicker. I also like hands-on activities because it gives you a visual of what you're doing. And it was fun today because you got to make a tower with your friends and groups. My group, our tower, was, it was short. And we noticed that the taller your tower, the weaker it was and the easier it was to blow down. So we made our tower smaller. And with STEM, we incorporated technology by finding out how the tower would withstand a hurricane, engineering by building the tower, and math by measuring it. I learned that making the tower shorter rather than taller makes it more sturdier, and making it wider at the bottom than having it skinny at the top because that can easily fall. Thank you for taking the time to learn what makes Edwards Middle School one of the best schools in our district. For Nash Rocky Mount Public Schools TV, I'm Chris Sibbles. Thank you. Hi, I'm Ann Mitchell, Principal of Rocky Mount Middle School. I'm here today to invite you to have a look at our best kept secret, our Student Media Advisory Committee, better known as SMAC you will see our students as they begin to leave their mark on Rocky Mount Middle School by actually designing a student-friendly media center. This group of students was selected by their peers and teachers to represent all 18 homerooms at Rocky Mount Middle School. They have the unique opportunity as a new school to walk in and shape and mold the library program and how this media center will look. Ms. Hinton and I are fully involved in this process with these students collaborating. We have a SMAC Edmodo group where we can share ideas and information and collaborate with each other and I'm finding that that goes on 24-7 now. Also, we're analyzing. Our students are mining the internet for facility ideas and they're taking all this information, videos, blueprints, photographs, and they're creating an inspiration tap poster. And they're going to present their tap poster to us and tell us what they think is most important. Well, at first, when I first came into the library, I was like, this is really our library. And then it was like no color or nothing. And then um, Miss Gay has started talking about design, maybe redesigning it. Um, being on the Smack Club, um, it's a way to be you um, without nobody judging you in any way. A lot of people like look at students and say like they're they're a bad student and they know what they're gonna do. But I'm here to stand up for those students. I'm here to make a change for those students and vice versa with me. My favorite part is being able to come in here and design the library as one 
When you walk into a library, you want it to be like, wow, exciting. You want to be able to look and say, oh yeah, these books are going to be good, not boring. You don't want to walk into a boring library. I would like to see like pictures of Rocky Mount Middle, just their athletes, the Battle of the Books, Quiz Bowl, stuff like that on the wall just to give it a, just to represent our students. These students had never been to school with each other. In fact, some were already attending other middle schools in the community and came here to start a new middle school. I'm seeing a sense of community and collaboration, a sense of camaraderie. And this media center, how it looks at the end of the year, which we would love for you to come back and see us apply everything we've done, and it'll be exciting. This media center, not only this room, but the services and programs we offer will be their legacy. Thank you for joining me today and taking a look at our best kept secret. This is Ann Mitchell for Nash Rocky Mount Public Schools Television. Hi and welcome. My name is Brian Hopkins, principal here at Tar River Academy. Last school year, we had a very successful year with the graduation rate increase by 25%. Today, we will talk about our APEX program and we will have an opportunity to talk to students and teachers about how APEX has helped our student achievement. APEX is a computer program that we utilize at this school to not only help with student recovery, we also use it to enhance our content. Students are able to recover credits that they had previously taken and did not receive the credit for. Like if they failed Algebra 1, they can come use the program and they can retake Algebra 1 and it gives an them an opportunity to take Geometry and then take Algebra 1 maybe during fourth period when they have an Apex class and so they can take two maths at the same time and regain that Algebra 1 credit and not fall behind. The students have the opportunity to take Apex classes throughout the day. So even though they may be scheduled into a U.S. history class, we're able to actually give them some assistance in a civics class with APEX. So if we're working half the class with U.S. history, the other half of the class may be working with civics, which gives them, in a sense, a dual credit. How I use it in my social studies classroom is I pull different aspects of geography from the world ge uh, history section or the U.S. history section and I um, use those different parts that my kids can understand and can uh, that correlate with the Common Core stuff that we're doing in order to enhance their geography skills. Oh, Apex is like more efficient because I can do recover more credits and I can uh, do more one credit at then one time. I can do math and English and anything I want. It's more easier for me. And on the MacBook, I can like pull it up. Like if I'm doing all my work, I can pull up a MacBook and do that. It's not long to do. All you gotta do is just get on the computer, do your work. And with a teacher, you got to go through all steps and you could just go out here and do your work and move faster instead of waiting on each step of process a teacher got to go through. You can go through it on your own. They got your notes there for you already. You can just look at it. You can go home and get on it and complete your class. I just, I just finished the class today, matter of fact. I think that it's actually energized the students. I think that it gives them the opportunity to, instead of just standing there and having a teacher lecture to them all the time, they're actually able to read the document, do an activity with the content that they're learning, and then from that standpoint, they're able to move forward and they're able to communicate better with their other students. For me, I've seen more students take accountability for their own education and really want to achieve more, not need someone to actually push them to achieve more. They want to achieve more, they want to get out of school, they want to do something better with themselves. Thank you for joining us here at Tar River Academy for what's our best kept secrets. For Nash Rocky Mount Public Schools TV, I'm Brian Hopkins.